one. We are live. All right, that's not who we're talking about. So first, thing, we'll first things there. first, we haven't done a proper show yes. since I think before the season. It's been a long time. There's been a lot of content. Right. The lives have been rocking. Sammy's highlights have been yeah, rolling. The, the league is in a great place. Yeah, it's been uh, a lot of fun to start. A lot of competitive balance. We have some shockers we're going to talk about. Love the shockers. Um, you know, good storylines across the board. And we're going to quickly run through you know, every team in the league, you know, in probably a minute or so or less. Yeah, so cool that this time of the year, it's almost only exclusive m and M&S. Not exactly, because MSB still has a game three to be, uh, to be played. But it's one game. When that happens, it's going to be awesome. YMSL is all done. I won. Thank God. That's good. Mabruk. Thank you. Um, and now it's all m and and uh, the nights have been awesome. You know, the, the games have been crisp. The, yeah. the, 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 the gameplay, the, the defense, the clutchness, yeah, the storylines story, we talked about. Yes, a lot of storylines that we talked about are coming into fruition in a funny way. Uh, something else that's a minor thing, but I always see it as a great thing. There has been rain. Thank God, Baruch Hashem, no cancellations. It only helped the field. Right. The grounds crew has been getting the field in playing shape, and it's been soft. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So let's get right to it right now. We'll start again from the bottom of the standings and we'll move upwards. And shockingly, on the bottom of the standings right now is at two and six. Actually, there's two teams at two and six. I don't exactly remember predictions, but I think the two teams at the bottom were the two that this gentleman put in the final. Absolutely not. I didn't no? have I didn't no, have the no, no, no. the Great Awakening. I had layout on the championship. Right. Right. So the anyway, the Great Awakening at two and six. So now, what has gone wrong? They've been a mess. They've just Edmund Beta is not able to close games. So Their Edmund defense Beta, betrays right. them a little bit. So Edmund Beta looks good at times. You mentioned not close. I think he's one of the reasons they can't close. He has to learn to breathe and pitch strikes. Um, last year, one of the calming influences in the cl clubhouse. Teddy Ishak has not been that early on. Right, and last and week he was. They, they've been they've been a really up and down squad in the locker room, and on the field of play, it's more down than up. So yeah, they bad. listen at two and six, they're not dead. They still kind of control no, their own destiny. They do control their own destiny, and they need to win at least three of their last four games to close out the schedule to have an opportunity. But. They do. Um, at this point in time, you know, look at their team. It's amazing. Like, have, Saul Cohen's been hitting well. Saul, you have Joe S playing pretty well over the last few weeks. Jojo Saruri is actually... So if you look at the teams that they're producing player-wise... Their top three hitters, I think their numbers are sort of there. The eye test I've been watching. Jojo, Soli, and Joe S. Maybe they're not all getting their hits in bunches. But they're getting on base. It's it's it's. I don't know. Is, there, is it their defense that's not there? I don't. I don't, I don't even know. I get Safty. He's been good. Has he been as great as we thought he'd be offensively? No. Well, I also do know this team still does believe in themselves, and rightfully so. They have the names on paper. But either way, they're right now on the very much outside looking in. I hate to say it. I mean, it's also. It doesn't. It has a lot of good players. Sometimes, just chemistry-wise, it just doesn't mend. Right. And, and listen, they had a, a tough start to the year chemistry-wise. And listen, they have two more weeks to re remaining to figure it out. And if they don't figure it out, they're going home early. And they can't let outside things bother them. All right. That, that's if a problem. There's a bad call. I, I feel like a... we're spending way too much time on the yes. last place team. Let's move Go on to to layout. Me, one of the most interesting stories of the season is the layout organization. The greatest team ever assembled. That's what Salt said before the year. They just haven't hit the ball. Um, their top name brand guys like Zach and JT and, and, and you know, up and down the lineup, everyone has not done their part. Zach, I think this season so far has yet to really go on a tear. Well, last night he went 0 for 7 with a walk. Did so, he really? 0 yeah. for 7. Ouch. So I don't, think I, I don't think I ever remember Zach yeah. doing that. If your star is going to do that, that's problematic. And Eddie Harari, even though he looks like he's pitching well on the mound, he has been getting hit every and, game and or so. what I saw, I wasn't here the whole night last night, only game one. He's walking much more than he did last and year. And I think his increasing velocity on his end is making him lose control. I think he has to dial it back Maybe. to, you know, really... No, we're also learning sometimes speed. I mean, speed's important, but sometimes speed isn't the end-all, be-all. Good hitters are going to hit speed. It's about changing speed. And we see that with a few teams we're going to talk about in a few minutes exactly. with pitchers That's why that have no speed whatsoever. Anyway, speaking of speed, now we're talking about speed kills. Speed kills right now at 2-4. and four. Um, they do have a lot of season to go. They're actually playing tonight yeah, it's a in big a matchup. big matchup against the Hitmen, the first place Hitmen. So we're going to learn a lot, a lot about them tonight. Um, again, I think what's been their bugaboo has been their chemistry. Um, so what also helps lack of chemistry is 
people not showing. Right, Michael Beta Michael got hurt. hurt. And uh, Joe Chira, he's, he's half foot in, very half busy, foot out. Right, very busy. So that lends Archie, to a team. Uh, on and off. So they need their team all here. I don't know who's going to be there tonight. I think I Archie's missing, and I think Joe Chira might I think be missing Archie's a game. missing for one game, I think. I, no, Joe Chira's missing a game for sure. And Archie the whole night? I believe so. Yeah, yeah I that believe hurts. So. That hurts. So they're going to have um, a big test in front yeah, of them so tonight against a really Steve, good squad. Steve is not a fan of subs. And he usually likes to play with what he got. He's got the defense. But, you know, talking the about team, subs, they use their designated sub in Michael Beta. They can't get subs. Right, I hear that. But the thing about it is they have the pieces. Like, if you put Morty at third, it shouldn't be a problem. Morty's a, a right, skilled look. fielder. And obviously, so, Ralph on the mound should obviously be an yeah, upper and, echelon pitcher. And, and I think Ralph's ready to pitch tonight. He was excited. I spoke to him yesterday. Very excited about pitching tonight and excited for the challenge against the Hitmen, which we'll get to soon. All right, so tonight I think will be a big indicator of how their season goes. If they split, they're still very much in the yeah, thick of things. I split, I think uh, Stephen Gindy wouldn't beat. So now, uh, right now, currently fourth in the standings, but it's a little skewed because their season it's is over. officially over, is the streaking whole organization. This, this is a team that is making many smile. I think they're a hidden fan favorite. No, they, they've become a fan favorite. Yeah. At first, everyone said, what are these guys doing? Right, why are they coming? A, a team of, of friends, it's a joke to the league. And guys were a little upset that we allowed certain players in the league to let them do this draft. Uh, big, big shout out I'm giving, and I think the catalyst to this bunch was Carlos Abadi. Yeah. Carlos has um, been money. Listen, yeah. their major guys have, major. Have, have come yeah. through. And obviously, they ended the year on a four-game winning streak last night. Two impressive wins against layout that kind of put them them in disarray. But, but now, like why I'm saying, Carlos, Jack Abadi hitting is not going to shock anybody. Understood. Gabe started streaky, but he's got to come across. That's two. Carlos leading off. To me, your X factor is Carlos. My X factor is Leo Pachota. We're going to third base. Yeah, so they put Leo at third. Defense yeah. already became great, and all year long he's been their best hitter, including everyone in that lineup. Right. So that's big. So to me, and he's the X factor. You can't forget about the Sunny. Sunny Shalom is throwing strikes and getting people out. And a hell of a fielder on the mound as well. Right, he makes, he makes his plays, exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, listen, that team Impressive. right now, it looks like they're in pretty I good position. They're going to be in a spot to play the either a play -in the or a wild five card. or the, maybe a playing game to get there. So, good job by the whole. Yeah, no, I agree. And, uh, you know, overall, no matter what happens. We can't not mention because he's El Dongo. Yeah, he, he really... <laughs> Everyone, even the back end of the lineup, really put together strong yeah. seasons. Marcus Ajmi had days, but Aldango every week getting two, three hits, which is great. So let's right. keep going. Great anyway, job by the whole. Moving right along onto the five and three, we are live organization. Yes. So this, currently in third place. This is a weird team to to, um, to they, talk about. They now. played eight games. They have four remaining. And Kona looks like he's been a pleasant surprise on the mound. So, um, I think they've been getting bit. And a little hit hard, you know, at the shortstop spot, Jackie yes. has not played well defensively. So Jackie defensively has not been what he's supposed to be. Game two last week, he was fantastic, turning two double plays, playing well. But he's going to have to be the upper echelon defender. So going into this season, it's very easy to just look at two shortstops and compare them. And that would be Sammy Soria versus Jackie yeah, Sutton. Both defensively have not been perfect. Sammy Soria offensively has some uh, big I hits. I didn't see Sammy Soria make any bad plays. Sammy's last week. Stop. Last week he had he didn't have a great game one either. It was against We Are Alive actually. So they've got a but he's great. They're both there. But, but we are alive. You have a lineup with Jimmy Alley, Sabon. You have a lineup with guys you know so, up and down. They're all doing their job. The and reason why it's hard for me to describe We Are Alive is five and three is a very good record. And from what I saw, I don't think they deserve to be five and three. Interesting. So good for them. To be at five and three, and they're set up that if they go five hundred the rest of the way out, well, I know they're gonna be a top three seed. I know they play layout in the last week of the season, and I think they have another makeup game. I forget against two, but listen, I think if they, like you said, win two go games, they're gonna get be to the seven three. games. You're gonna be a top three yeah, team, and then, and then it's like everybody says, be hot and play your best ball at the right time. And now moving so. on to the second place team in Cats in the Cradle. Yeah, so they're a pleasant surprise. So now they had a late start to the season, the way the schedule stacked out, but. You know, right now at five and one, they the could do no way. wrong. The weather worked for us. They caught up quickly, got six games in, and we could talk about them like we talk about everybody else. Right, they're five and, and one, six games in. Could we say it that the mistake player on their team is the X factor that's helping them be five and Good one? Good old Freddie, the wheels. That's hitter. right. Going in, and I would say three quarters through the draft. I, how about this? Down to the last four picks. Right. How about the last pick? It was <laughs> the hole was you know said they don't want to take that pitcher. They want to give Sonny they the want spot. Sonny the and by default, 
Freddie Henry Freddy. fell to Cats in the Cradle. And, and, and guess what? They're five and one, and Freddie is four and zero. That's right. He's Freddy's four, four and zero now, and Freddie is doing things, and their team is more complete with them on it. And the reason why this team is where they are right now is the left side of their infield, like we talked about, Sammy Surya, but really Mark Barsano has been everything as advertised, if not better. So Mark Barsano has impressed everyone who's seen him, both offensively yeah. and defensively. Yeah, he, he's he's a big boy. He's built like a ball player, and his first week he was bad. He, he, he couldn't make good contact. He was but, bad. Make no, but I knew he was going to be. I, I knew he was going to figure it out offensively because I know he him. Definitely figured it but out. But so. defensively is where I'm more impressed than anything. He really very, is very, opening very eyes. Nice. And then look, if you have an outfield with MC in center, Isaac Sasson in left, and Elliot Saka in right. Listen, they're five and one without Yakov Saruya actually being Yakov Saruya. Yakov Saruya started hitting game two last week. Started hitting the ball very well, nice. They need that badly. And if that happens, then they're really a force so, to be reckoned with. They're a with. dangerous team. You know, I, I'm readjusting. I'm recalibrating my predictions. After six games right now, they became, they they usurped the other teams as my potential World Series. We, we team didn't like them. I had them not making the playoffs. Both of us didn't like yeah. them. I had them on the bubble. So, so and now going into the final team, the first place team they again, played tonight. I, I don't want to forget about Charles Saka because he's a big X factor up the middle. Yeah, player Bernie, of the week last week. Bernie at second has been doing the job, but he's maybe the one question mark defensively on that team. But Charles shoring up that middle, helping that left side and the right side is tremendous. So I agree. Very uh, nice. And now to complete out the bunch, the first place at 7-1, and one, the Hitmen. There's nothing to say no. about the Hitmen. They were a preseason favorite, and they've lived up to their yeah, end of the bargain. Um, Shimmy drafted a hell of a team. Yep, and his guys are doing their job. They Hank's won. hitting, yeah. Gutman's hitting, yeah. uh, Butchie's been a... Probably the best player on their team. They're coming through when they have to. Clutch moments, close games. They're getting the plays done. Um, you want to nitpick? Maybe Yankee Gutman defensively hasn't been the A plus we thought he'd be. Yet they're still seven and one. Yeah, I mean, and, and and he's fine enough to win the whole so, thing there. I will tell you one thing. Joey Cohen is proven to be right now at this point in the season the best pitcher in the league. Yeah, he might be one of the best pitchers in the whole community right he's, now. The he's he's there. He he is such a competitor. He will not even if he's in trouble, he will never give up on an at bat, an he, inning at all. Ever. He looks at it as twenty seven games. That's right. how not twenty seven. Seven times three is twenty one. Twenty one games within a game. Within a game. He looks at it. He never gives up that one out, never is like light to a guy. It's twenty one individual games. And that's an incredible way. <laughs> To go at it as a it's, pitcher. It's tough not to say anything glowing about Joey. The only nitpick I'll have well, is he hasn't hit the ball yeah. at all. So Offensively, at the end of his last game, he hit a couple of nice shots. But for the most part... So last year, too, on spin drift, he didn't hit. I don't think yeah. he's the hitter that he thinks he is. Yeah, I don't know. He has that loopiness, and he's hitting too many high pop-ups. Uh, maybe he comes through. But, however, maybe that's not play. why they're paying him the big bucks. Exactly. And he's, he, he's earning his contract as the number one pick. So, and Mid-season, this has been a lot of fun. It's a little, been a little, pa little past mid-season. But the reason why it's interesting is, like you said, we have a 7-1 team, we have a 5-1 team, and then we have 3-4 teams. Listen, how about this? Between We Are Alive, between Layout, and between speed kills, two of those teams are not making the playoffs. It's amazing. So who, who is that going to be? I don't know who that's going to be. Well, We Are Alive is slated nice, but there's a chance to have three, two, I don't mean We Are Alive. Right. Layout. Layout. Um, speed kills and The Great Awakening. Great. Those three, right. Two of those three they are not making all, the playoffs. They potentially could all be two and six. Let's see. We don't know how that's going to play out, right? Let's see, see how that happens. But it's been a lot of fun. Can't wait to see the way the rest of the season goes. Early season predictions for us. All right, whatever. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. It goes out the window. But now that we have a better yeah. idea of how the league is shaped and formed, um, yeah, the Hitmen are still the Hitmen's the, the are team. they're the team to beat right now. No question about yeah, it. There's another team against them. Uh, listen, I, I, at this point in time, just only seen them on three nights so far, so it's really a little premature. Cats in the cradle. They're that that's team. Amazing. I think they amazing. they're better than we are live is right now. It's amazing. It's really amazing. I, I they split. And guess what? Michael Cohen is. Repeat performance from last year's MVP performance. Yeah, he's, he's here to play. He's playing hard, and he means it, and he wants it, and it's very impressive. And the team so, that might make some noise and sneak around and maybe get to the semis, and who knows? The hole. Is the hole. See, and that's the hole. The, I just can't see them in the finals, but if they get to the semis, it's going to be a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, they're, and they're going to they're gonna bring a nice crowd with yes, them as well. they'll definitely bring a nice crowd. They'll bring pizza. They'll bring grass. They'll bring whatever they got to bring, but it will be a lot of fun. And... That's a team that I wouldn't want to face for one reason. It's oregano, it's not grass. Oh, that's what, they're going to be with the pizza. They're going to be very loose. 
They're almost like, oh, we're here? You don't think we belong here? They're definitely the surprise story of the season. That's right. I hope they uh, go on more of a run. You have two contrasts. You have the Great Awakening surprising us one way, and you have the whole surprising us the other and way. And guess what? We Are Live is sort of exactly what I thought they were going to be. Yeah, 500 type Fine. team. They're a mess type, but if they get hot, which I think Listen, they're going they to. They need MoCast to really be that glue guy. We said it before the Let's year. Let's say it the way it is. Jackie Sutton's got to play a better defensive shortstop. Um, Jimmy Malach, he did it last week, but has to play a really good defensive second base. And Ali Marshall, I'm going to say this, um, in center field, he could get the job done still. Well, I know they had internal talks of potentially making some moves, putting Ali at short, Jackie so that, at third. Right, so that was talked about. I don't think that's going to happen, but could it be the smart move for Ali to go to, to left field? Not, has, has he ever done that before? No, but you know what? There's a time... There's gonna be a time for everybody, and Ali's still a force at the plate. It might keep his legs fresh. He'll play a better left fielder than anybody, and this is a team that could do it. They have a Yossi Abramson who has a lot of wheels. And by the way, Yossi Abramson has been playing a lights out left field. Great outfield. He has been. So he could cover ground in center, and Ali could play the best left field in the league. They have Kushner in DC. It ain't happening. It ain't Maybe happening. DC should go to center field. That could be the move. I and you know. put yeah, and then you put Ali at short, Jackie at third, because DC do that. has he played could. center field many I years. Know. I don't know. I think Ali in the outfield. I think he wants to be in the outfield, but it's just a thought. It might be something that was talked so about. I, I don't want to. They're too tight knit of a team between Ali, Sabon, and Jimmy to make that type of drastic change. Is unless it so it, drastic? Unless you're flipping it, two play players. Unless it comes from Ali, so I, I think it's okay. a waste of conversation. But okay. uh, either way, I, I can't wait for the down the stretch run right now. We actually potentially only have about seven more nights it's of regular amazing. season this and then we'll flies. be in the playoffs yeah the season is flying right along it was so fast and we got another night tonight i can't wait it's gonna be a lot of fun so good luck we'll see you guys